when you meet someone that you think is absolutely extraordinary and can be um, a great asset in your organization. And you know, you find those people sometimes, they're these, these diamonds in the rough that you can find. And as an owner or as a senior executive, you can smell that they just, they should be with you. It just, they fit. You know that they're, they've got this, that it characteristic that most people just don't have. How do you get them to come to work with you? Well, you can chase them. You can throw money at them. You can wine them and dine them or you can tell them it's probably not for them. And I prefer the latter. So if I meet someone that's extraordinary, what I prefer to do, and it's in a, in a social setting or it's in a um, non-recruiting environment, but I met this person at a, an event and I just know this person has, has that, that wow factor, right? What I will do is, is when you, know, you exchange your pleasantries and talk a little bit about your business and what they do and why they do it, I would just tell them that our, well, coming to work with us and to be part of our insanity is probably too difficult. It's probably something he or she should never entertain. Uh, he's probably way too comfortable where they're at. And obviously we call that a push away, right? But they're probably way too comfortable doing what they do. And they don't want to aspire to achieve something extraordinary in their life. They're comfortable. They're a DFH, dumb, fat, and happy, okay? And if that's okay, they should stay where they're at. And if they ever wake up one morning and want to really do something extraordinary and knock it out of the park, maybe they should give us a call. Just maybe. But I will never chase them. I will never call them. I will never send them 57 emails. I will never send them postcards, letters, uh, boxes of chocolate on Thanksgiving and Valentine's Day. You know, people should want to come to work for you and they should be so impressed by meeting you that they should be chasing you and coming after you and sending you the emails. So if you have that environment, I'm going to tell you the best thing to do is to act a little aloof and push them away and see how they respond. If they don't respond positively, they weren't your guy anyway.